You are listening to Betterment.com's Traceoteric Podcast, where we journey to the inside kingdom and unlock esoteric truths within. Now here is your host, from MechanicalMotivation.com, Marquis Taylor. Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in once again to today's message. You're here with Marquise Taylor from BetterMente.com as well as MechanicalMotivation.com. And today I would like to talk about imperfection. This is particularly a very exciting topic for me as I have a unique viewpoint on the idea of imperfection. I want to start off with a quote here. We cannot demand perfection from ourselves and love ourselves at the same time. Self-love requires self-acceptance, acceptance of our flaws, inadequacies, failures, and mistakes. Randy G. Fine. I do not believe in perfection. I never have and I never will. To be perfect would mean a halt in progress. It would mean that improvement is no longer possible, and I refuse to believe in such notions. Hence why I'm so fascinated with the concept of imperfection. People often strive to be the absolute best they can be in life, and that's an admirable quality. The issue at hand is expecting perfect precision every time for every attempt. A weightlifter's technique only gets better through practice and determination. The time spent getting stronger is full of imperfect reps and failed sets. The form will only improve by challenging yourself and failing. A concept that is not akin to perfection. Think about what it would be like if we instantaneously completed our objectives. Just with the snap of our fingers, we could drop to 5% body fat. Imagine how much that would devalue our accomplishments. Getting a luxury car, earning a degree, making millions of dollars, or becoming a successful writer overnight would not have the same value as working towards those goals. Life would grow dull very quickly. The character needed to maintain those privileges come from that journey, the imperfect journey. Embracing our imperfections excuse me, is a part of what makes us who we are. I'm not referring to what society sees as physical imperfections. I'm referring to the failures we experience along the way. Network marketing is one example of a system that has made a significant growth over the decades, but much refining had to happen before it could become the pinnacle of hope it is today. Even now, it is changing in order to bring better opportunities to society. And what's also very interesting about the struggle in accomplishing your goal is that it, it's it's pretty much like that by design. If you just look and examine the universe and how things work, it's as if struggle was integrated into life as a mechanism to keep us growing and keep us doing things that matter to us. For example, a plane can't fly without resistance. A fire can't be started without friction. Literally, struggle and resistance is there for us to become our greater selves. It's important to know what imperfections are, specifically ours, of course, not just so that we may improve on them at our own pace, not someone else's pace, that's important, but also to show us that we are capable even when the odds are against us. Garrett Morgan invented the safety hood, a black man actually, the precursor to the gas mask. He personally saved several men from an explosion in 1916 in Cleveland, Ohio. His first level of education was the fifth grade. I just want people to understand that although this man had a lot going against him, he was still able to do great things and didn't allow the fact that the conditions weren't perfect for him to prevent him from doing things. This particular story stands out to me and it and it's it's interesting you should look into it some more but lastly i just want to say how our imperfections allow us to respect one another and understand that we are all imperfect developing tolerance for others helps us as a species grow and better ourselves acknowledging the fact that one person's imperfections may be different from another's will allow us to learn to love people for who they are and it's a huge huge a part of growing in the community to understand this concept 
So basically just to recap everything, perfection is really a fallacy, honestly. And even if you look at machines, anything that because mankind is an imperfect species, by default, anything we create will also be imperfect by design. So even if machines seem to be these flawless things, there is no point in time when the machine will ever be without flaw because it was created by man. And if you look at things like computers, even computer viruses, they didn't come out of nowhere. A human decided to create a computer virus. So everything happens with a cause and for a reason. Even if we're not aware of what the reason is, it happens. And then it's just important to understand that imperfection isn't a bad thing. In fact, it should be something that can be embraced and used as a mechanism to help us grow and connect with one another. Thank you so much for tuning in. Once again, you can find this on www.bettermente.com. It's bettermente.com, better mind, better people, as well as mechanicalmotivation.com. It's my personal website, and I'm so excited to have you all listening to this. And please feel free to like, comment, and share. I'd love to hear your thoughts. There'll definitely, there will definitely be more coming. Thank you and have yourself an excellent, excellent day.